Hi everybody. Oh man. Right, okay, it's alright. I just managed to throw my coffee everywhere, so let me move that out of the way. Right, okay, so um, welcome back to uh, this this week's update. Um, I've got so many so many things that have um, changed and happened this week. Um, it's been pretty crazy. But first of all, I want to give a big shout out to um, to everybody who's uh, liked, commented on this channel so far. Um, we've just hit 500 subscribers, so I'm really chuffed with that. So yeah, thanks to everybody who's put the little comments. Um, I try and get back to everybody best I can. So um, yeah, so the, there's a few things that have happened uh, this week slash last week. Was well, one, I was really stupid and I ran out of CO2 for my calcium reactor, so that's not good. So I had to hand dose the tank for three days. So every sort of two to three hours I was coming down, I was dripping in a constant drip of cap water and then I was adding in uh, some little bits of core seven that I had left over from when I was dosing the tank. So um, the DKH sort of fluctuated a little bit. So it went from, it's normally running at around 8.3, and it dropped to 7.2 at one stage, but it sort of stayed there about, um, and now it's running at 7.9. Um, now that the calcium reactor's back on, it's been able to sort of replenish it. So there's only one coral that was affected by that, which was like a bit of a, a stressy acro that tends to be a little bit more sensitive anyway. I finally mounted a lot of my coral frags, and I've also done a massive amount of fragging as well. Um, so a lot of these corals will be available at Paraquatics on Portland Road in Hove. So if you're in that vicinity, some of these corals will be available there if they're ones you're looking for. Also, a friend of mine has gone travelling and uh, she has a tank and she was running it down because she was going travelling and uh, she was left with one uh, yellow tang who unfortunately is suffering from a severe case of lateral line disease and uh, two clownfish. Now, um, I wouldn't recommend putting a, a yellow tang in my smaller tank, but because I know she's had these uh, for over eight years, these fish, um, they were her like pet fish, and you know she has looked after them to the best of her ability you know the, the yellow tang is suffering like i say really badly with lateral line disease but i had like it's in me i had to go and rescue it. so i thought you know it's going to live its days out in my tank i know that it, it hasn't got anything else other than lateral line disease so i'm trying to feed it up with some algae so i'm going to show you um i'll show you the the, the rescued or adopted fish that i took on as well um so let me show you the tank Okay, so I'm going to start on this side over here. I won an MP40 on eBay, so I've replaced my two MP10s with one MP40, which has really kicked up the flow somewhat. Um, I was really chuffed with that. I've got a nice uh, piece of green slimer, which I've attached to the rock there. It's looking lovely and bright. I've also attached a bottle brush to the side of the rock there who is loving life. I have also attached a green bird's nest opposite my pink bird's nest. I think they're going to really complement each other. Which are looking really nice. I think I might have to take out some of these uh, Kenya trees. I've popped this uh, really sort of yellow and uh, pale blue slash green chalice just in a slight little bit of lo lower light because it looked like it was bleaching a little bit and this watermelon one seems to be spreading over nicely really like in the lower light down here i've still got bits of coral that i fragged that i've just left at the bottom of the tank there's just stupid amounts that break off in here under here, there's a Superman Monty, which was being overrun by this non-green, green star polyps. So I sort of moved him out the way. And then what is doing really well is my acans had all but died off at one stage, and now they're really starting to come back really fluffy. 
So um, hopefully not before long, they'll be looking amazing. I've got some amazing growth on this guy here. He was a tiny little uh, little nub that a friend gave me. Um, I've placed a little bit more stags on there from the big fragging session that I did and a little bit more digi in there just to give it a little bit more colour. The ones uh, that had been sheared off from the strong fan are growing back so I've left the tips of those two pieces in just so that they've got something to grow out. My bubble tips, uh, well, one's decided to take residency up there and then there is another one squished in down there. So I'm just leaving them at the moment. Um, these are looking bright as ever. I'd really like this Monty to play over the bottom of the tank there. I think that would look really cool. And then as you come round here, so this is where all my, my frags were just laying on the bottom. As you can see, I've only got got sort of one, two, three, four that need to be mounted. But I've mounted my jack o lantern to the to that rock and hopefully that will grow over nicely. I'm so pleased with the way it's all come out. I've been really fragging this um, stylo here. So a lot of the tips have been cut off. So this is kind of my, uh, the one that gets it. I think I've actually purchased another strawberry shortcake. So this, it was pink with really bright pink tips. And now it's basing out and it's going green with pink tips. So, I mean, they do look different, but knowing my luck, I've probably just bought the same coral again. That tends to happen. Um, these are lots of frags that I've got chilling out up here. You can see where I've been chopping away. So everything's looking really good. This was another one my, my friend gave me that sort of died back a little bit and it's really starting to come back. Little mushroom down there doing well. The colour's really coming out in this one. My clams decided it didn't want to be on its little pedestal so it's uh, taking a little, well, little side step off, which is very bizarre. But you can see all this new growth, it's amazing. So clean, the new growth, since it's been in this big tank. It's probably gonna fix itself to the bottom of my tank so I can never take it off. Now I mounted these Sunny Ds here, really popping. And then some other crazy ones here. Slightly different red ones, I don't know, utter chaosy things or something like that, I think. The John Deere we put the back there, oh I did. I want that to cover everything. And then I put another little chalice in there and then an encrusting. I also brought this up because I really love the green and the purples on this. I mean it's a bit iridescent at the moment because it's been in the shade so hopefully it's gonna get a little bit more light. And then this sort of little acro mountain, this little guy here, really yellow and pink tip, so I have no idea what that one is, but it's loving it. And I've popped a little one up there to cover up the one that had died from uh, the extreme hot weather shipping. And then this looks like it's starting to grow as well, which is good. Also got a really nice uh, bit of Hollywood Stunner, which I've just attached to the back wall there, hoping to get that to grow, but we'll see if that's gonna grow up the back there. I found this tucked away, and you can see a little bit of it had been stung, so I thought I'll try and encourage that to grow up the wall as well. And then there's my elegance coral. So all in all, yeah, the only things that have changed is it's got an MP40 as well now, so looking really good. And then lots more frags in here that should be ready to go soon. Um, got a good drip rate coming back from the calcium reactor. I also changed up my media and thought I'd give uh, Fosgard a go because it's a lot um, cleaner and less messy to use. So we'll see how that works out. Um, and then in the crazy cupboard, just got a new fire extinguisher, which my friend got hold of and attached for me. So no longer having to manual dose. So the things I need to do is I need to really get that um, 
wireless uh, Wi-Fi connector for my Radeon lights, which are here, and for the Ecotech Quiet Drive pumps, and that way I'll be able to change the light settings, and I should be able to film the tank better. So hopefully, make it look a lot better. But actually, everything does through the uh, the lens. It looks really good. It looks like it's really grown which is nice, it's what you want. All right, now so now over to this tank here, which has got the three rescued fish, and I've added the MP10s to this tank. So what I've done is I've added an MP10 to either side of this tank, there's a bit of glare there, so that it lifts up a lot of the detritus from the bottom. Frogfish is looking amazing, but yeah, here's the yellow tang with the worst lateral line disease ever. But he's he's eating loads. There's so much you can see. I've got lots of algaes, like natural algaes in here, and I've put on a clip of algae that he's been munching on. Um, I do feel a bit sorry for him, to be honest. But he's swimming well, and he's eating, and he doesn't seem lethargic, so. We're gonna give him a chance. Copper band looking ace. He's still very shy, he doesn't like having the camera poked at him. And then we've got two clownfish, your standard male and female. This female is huge. And of course they've taken a liking to the corner of the tank. But I will be honest, this tank has actually, it's actually come to life with a little bit more going on in it because it was just the frog fish, the eel and the copper band and actually having more fish swimming around seems to have made everything a little bit happier. Let's see if we can find the eel. He's normally poking his, oh here he is. There you go, poking his little head out. I love this guy. Almost my favourite fish. But then, this guy, who I've had for a good couple of years now, is just so cool. But I've actually got a lot of joy for your normal clownfish as well. Oh, I don't know who I'm kidding, I think I love them all. But yes, yeah, so, oh, do you know what, it'd be really nice if we can get this uh, yellow tank, considering, you know, the ban in Indonesia and what have you, I think it's really important that we look after these fish. Um, Bless him, he's got so much personality, he's very sweet. So it'd be nice if we can get his fins back. So it'd be nice to track the progress. Like I say, feeding lots of um, garlic enriched, uh, nori, normal nori, and then this tank does have a lot of macro algaes naturally growing in it. So hopefully he can have a good old chow down on them. So what else I've done is I've removed the AI Prime non-HD that I had from this tank purely because um, I just thought it was overkill really. It's only soft corals in there and it was just growing too much sort of algae on the glass. But yeah, bless him. All right guys, that's my video for today. Um, thanks to everybody who's liked, commented, shared and subscribed. It really does mean a lot. Um, and if anybody's got any ideas of anything they'd like to see for future content, if you can put it in the comments below. Also, um, let me know what you think about me adding a coral tray to this room, because I've been fragging up quite a lot of corals and I'm thinking it might be quite nice to have a separate system that I could just run just for the coral frags. So let me know if that's something you'd like to see. I'm also thinking about maybe a nano reef with just um, my bubble tip and enemies and the clownfish and then maybe see if we could try and breed some of the clownfish so let me know if these are things that would interest you if you'd be interested to see this um, and if you can put it in the comments below that would be brilliant all right cheers